I love checking out previous Governor's Cup races. Let's head back to 2001 for this fair classic. Let's take a look at the centerpiece of race day at the fair. It's the $40,000 Governor's Cup, of course. And a couple horses to keep your eyes on are Kelly Chameleon, who won four out of five starts at Harrington Raceway this spring. And number seven, Starter Hanover, the son of Walton Hanover, who's been racing and winning at the Meadowlands, and now comes back home to strut his stuff. As they hit the back stretch, Kelly Chameleon's got the lead. Starter Hanover's coming up on the outside. Country Critter is there at the rail. Nan Siren got away in fourth. Then it's two lanes back to Protocol Hanover in fifth. They go by the quarter now, and Starter Hanover's up on the outside, battling Kelly Chameleon for the lead, and Starter gets to the front, 28 flat. Starter Hanover has the lead now. Kelly Chameleon sits in second. It's two lanes back to Country Critter, followed by Nan Siren in fourth. Protocol Hanover is next. Coming to the outside, that's No Laughing. CC's last Sam after the break is moving out to follow No Laughing. Canvas Prince trails at the rail. They come to the half, and Starter Hanover has the lead and the racetrack a length and a half. Kelly Chameleon sits in the two hole. Country Critter is third up on the outside. No laughing. Nan Siren will sit in. The half was 56 and 4. They move around the turn once again toward the back stretch. And Starter Hanover's got it a length and a half over Kelly Chameleon. No laughing is on the outside. Country Critter is waiting, as is Nan Siren. Alongside is CC's last Sam. Nan Siren just ran up on the back there of Country Critter and check sharply. They go to three quarters and up front it's Starter Hanover continuing to lead it. It's Starter Hanover with the lead. Kelly Chameleon the only contender right now. Swing three wide there from the back of the pack is Cam Best Prince. They come toward the top of the stretch. For all intents and purposes, it looks like a two-horse race. Starter or Kelly, they come off the turn. Starter Hanover's got the lead. Kelly Chameleon swings to the outside. Starter is strong. Starter's got the lead and is going to win it. Starter Hanover wins it easy. Starter in front, Kelly Chameleon and Country Critter. Starter Hanover was parked the first quarter, but then leads the rest of the mile to win in 153-4 for the brother-sister training team of George and Brenda T. A big crowd of supporters showed up in the winner's circle, including Delaware's governor, Ruth Ann Minner. We just saw Starter Hanover win the Governor's Cup back in 2001. Have you been wondering what he's up to? We have. That brings us to a new post-time segment. Where are they now? That was a huge day for you, right, George? Your first Governor's Cup. Yeah, I still remember them. I mean, from us guys being in Delaware, and actually my first real good horse, and Kevin's first good one, and he had a couple after that, luckily. But uh, no, he was a lot of fun. Definitely right to the day, one of the toughest horses I've ever raced. You know, I remember that day because I was like seven months pregnant, I think, and I, it was so hot, and I'm like waddling into your barn with my pen and my paper, and I was like... Okay, I need some quotes to write my story about the Governor's Cup, but that was a really big day. And he ended up in the Delaware State News that week and everything, so that was a big deal. Now, what has Starter been doing? Racing the rest of the Kevin and Ronnie's Fry Farm. Uh, I think so Kevin just owned him himself, though, and then Kevin and Ronnie partnership after that. But no, he's had a good life just uh, doing nothing. With another horse uh, we had was a good horse, didn't hold up his long name, Dixie Lag, so they're like pals. Oh, so he's just chilling out. I mean, he's not doing anything. Nothing. Just chilling out and eating Kevin's money up. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. So, deservingly so. He's made a few bucks too, so. You're right. Deservingly so, exactly. So when you have a horse like that, okay, and you're like, start thinking, even when the horse is probably still racing, before he retires, you start thinking, how am I going to replace that horse with another good horse? But there was one that came along. And I can't remember her name right now. It's like on the tip of my tongue, right? Um, of course I remember her name because I've said it over and over and over. Who is she? And tell me about her. I can remember her name. Rainbow Blue. So oh, it's an easy one. Yeah, but like I said, Kevin uh, and Ronnie really had a couple good ones after that. So Southwind Lynx, which is another one. So they kind of rolled that one into the other one, but into another one and another one. But the first one started off with Starter, so. Yeah, you know what? That's a really good point to mention. You know, you get a nice horse, and then you go and you roll it over into another one and into another one. Starter started it all, though. That's right. Starter started it all. Started it all. Okay. 
Good point. Now, Rainbow Blue, just getting back to her, she was the 2004 Horse of the Year for the entire country, United States and in Canada, which is like huge, okay? A three-year-old pacing filly, like that never happens for a horse in her division to win the Horse of the Year in United States and Canada. She's done racing, having babies, but this summer, you know, she's a huge name again. Why? Uh, the Hall of Fame. You know, deservingly so, but it ain't an easy place to get to, even a horse of her status. So, no, we're excited. Excited by going up there for the one day for the ceremony. So, pumped up and ready to go. Well, if you guys want to go out there, I'm going to try to. I'm really going to try to. It's the first weekend of July. It's at Goshen, New York, right? Okay. And it's a really great party. And I know you got to be excited. Can you imagine, like, you're having a horse in the Hall of Fame? That's, like, crazy. I agree. I mean, it's from small towns like we come from. You never think you'd make it to any status like that. And having such a great horse to actually make it to the Hall of Fame, uh, you don't get no more pumped up than that. Congratulations on that, George, and um, to Kevin and Ronnie and Brenda and everybody that was associated with Rainbow Blue. And um, I'm glad that we had this little catch up on Starter Hanover. I've actually had a lot of questions about him. People want to know what's he been doing. We remember that horse. So thanks for telling us about him. Oh, thank you, Beth.